Hello, Internet, and happy Toasted Marshmallow Day! It's a real holiday. But it's also Monday, August 30th, 2010, and there's a bunch of news to talk about. First thing is Chat Roulette is back! Yay! Where was I gonna see people touching their penis in real time? Where else? Nowhere. Because I don't search the internet for that. But Chat Roulette is back, and a lot of people expected a bigger, more social networky website when it would come back, because that's what the um, creator said that he was going to do. Thing is, when the website went up this morning, it's just this buggy, half-working, very dumb down version of the website. It's two video boxes that you can change the size of, a button that goes to next, and a place where you can type. So it looks like they completely gave up on the social networking side, which sounded cool. When you got that one out of ten encounters that was not some dude stroking himself, it was actually kind of interesting. And then of course you have to like trade emails or Facebooks or Twitters or one of the 80 other fucking ways to keep in contact with someone. And it just seemed like the logical step. But alas, we get the dumbed down version. So I guess I will continue uh, not using that service. Yay. So as some of you probably remember, BP was investigating it Itself. And after finding itself pretty much not at fault, they found something! Oddly enough, it was not an evil bald man stroking a kitty cat. I always just kind of assume that's who did it. But it turns out that BP read the pressure gauges wrong, so that when they changed stuff to the doobly-doos, it blew up and killed 11 people. And did that whole thing to the ocean. Or whatever. So I don't know, kind of interesting that BP is taking fault. But it's good to see. Then of course, moving to Happy Fun Time News, the Emmys were last night. And a lot of people were surprised by the choices, but you really shouldn't be at this point for the Emmys. It feels like other than Mad Men, they're kind of just throwing a dart to see who wins. My favorite was probably Best Female Actress in a Comedy, where they awarded Edie Falco, who stars in a drama, Nurse Jackie, that just has funny moments. Even she's saying, why did I get this? But of course, the biggest award went out to Best Supporting Role, the bra Christina Hendricks was wearing. I love award season, just for her. <laughs> oh yes. That was creepy, I apologize. But I was happy that Modern Family won. It completely deserved it. In movie news, The Last Exorcism, which of course cost $1.8 million to make, made $21 million. Crushing the box office, which isn't hard when the only other movie had Chris Brown in it. Yeah. And the dude that ruined Star Wars. And a lot of people are really just surprised that this movie did that well. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of movies come out of this. Because obviously there's gonna be a sequel. When you make ten times the budget, they usually want you to do it again, please. But there have been more and more movies that didn't cost a ton of money to make that do very well. I mean, The Last Exorcism got like 70% on Rotten Tomatoes, cost $1.8 million, and it's banking. Then of course you have the other end. You have Kick-Ass. You have Scott Pilgrim. Movies made for the the current generation that are amazing and then do terrible at the box office, which might tell you that you're making movies for the wrong audience. Scott Pilgrim should almost be a defining moment in cinema. It's a movie that perfectly describes the audience that it's meant for. The only problem is the audience it's meant for doesn't pay for shit, so you're kind of fucked. But it'll be exciting to see. Not the piracy part, but the, you know, creative $1.8 million movie part. And now it's just time for a history lesson. Well, not really, because history is believed to have now been wrong. Researchers for the longest time believed dinosaurs went extinct because the planet was hit by an asteroid. But now a lot of researchers believe that's not true. And that's because of the new findings that show, actually, time for a new segment. They'll explain something non-sexual sexually. Which is, of course, where I explain something non-sexual sexually. So imagine planet Earth was your mom. For the longest time, people believed her self-respect, dinosaurs, died when one giant black dude pounded her in the bathroom. It was ladies drink free night, don't judge her. But it turns out researchers were wrong. Your mom wasn't pounded by one dude with a huge penis. She was pounded by two normal-sized dudes. Close to the same time. Those dudes are meteorites in this scenario. So it's now believed the planet Earth was double penetrated by meteorites, about a few thousand years apart. The first one killing most life, and the second one delivering a knockout punch to anything else trying to survive. And they found this out because after a pretty much huge devastation, ferns grow. And there was fern growth a few thousand years apart, which led researchers to know that your mother is a whore. And that's why dinosaurs died. Or something. I got confused. Next story. And finally today we have our douchebag of the day. Ryan Anderson. Oh, Mr. Anderson. Mr. Anderson convinced a 17 year old girl to have sex with him. It was actually his ex-girlfriend. He ran over his house and he was like, these drug dealers want to kill me. The only way they won't kill me is if we have sex. <laughs> and for some reason she was like, well that makes sense. Ladies, that'll never happen. If that'll happen, you're dealing with some messed up people that are going to kill you anyway. So don't do it. Because 99.8% of the time, that's a lot. Like if I ran into a room and I was like, ladies, someone knocked me out, put a tiny plastic bomb in my pee hole. And the only way I can survive is if someone sucks me off. Because hopefully when I orgasm, it'll knock the bomb out, which you will then need to spit into this custom bomb case made to look like a Power Rangers lunchbox. That's probably a lie. But yeah, now the guy's in jail. Because that's what happens when you're a douchebag that tricks chicks into having sex with you because they fear for their life. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to go into further detail about this hot cosplay thing from Mass Effect 2 and more on Christina Hendricks. But there's just not time in this video.
video. So if you want to check out that super awesome, fantastic gallery uh, videos, pics, anything really from this video, or my new vlog that came out today where I talk about bitches being bitches, click those links in the description below. And of course, I do want to leave you with a Monday question of the day. What is the biggest lie you've ever told? And of course, do not incriminate yourself if you lied to a girl saying that someone was going to kill you if you didn't have sex. But everything else, let me know in the comments down below or in a video response. But of course, guys, as always, my name is Philip DeFranco, and you, well, you were just filled in. You, you really, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't feel it? No. Oh. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, oh God, that almost fell. Swing from the hip now, swing from the hip.